Eric Burgess here with Music Marketing TV and today we're going to be looking at the ability of Acid Pro 10 in order to split a track up into stems. Take a full mix and split it up. Let's dive into it. All right, so here we are in Acid Pro 10 and there is a stem maker right here at the top. And so what you're going to do is you're going to click this button. It's going to bring up uh, a folder and you're going to look for the thing you want to split. So I've got a track here called Harp Thing 3 and I'm going to use this one. So I'm just going to click open and it is going to analyze it. So it appears here at the top and then it's going to take a little while and it's going to produce some stems down below. So I'm going to skip ahead to that part. All right, so it's all done. And what it's done is it's given us three stems and it's given us the original but muted it at the top. So actually, if we solo this, here's the original. So if we mute this, here are the three stems that it made. We could solo them. So this one is trying to get rid of the drums. This one is the drums, but they're not really much hi-hat, and this one probably has most of the hi-hat. It's got hi-hat, it's got sort of just a lot of high-end stuff. And so this has a couple really interesting abilities for us. First, we could remix uh, a lot of songs a lot easier. If you have a song with vocals that you're trying to get out, this will often do a way better job of getting the vocals out than you could using some sort of crazy manual idea or method. Uh, so remixing is a definite possibility, but what I like to use it for is finding cool samples and doing some interesting sound design. So right off the bat, these two interest me quite a bit. I don't have too much interest in this one, so I'm gonna go ahead and just get rid of it. So I think this top stem has some actually some pretty interesting stuff coming in that would be hard to get any other way. So what I wanna do is I sort of wanna capitalize on this. So I'm gonna go ahead and just boost the volume on this one make it a bit louder it's catching a lot of the transients of the bass too and uh, for this one as well we're going to do some things with that now let's add in a new line so i'm going to come in i'm going to add in a, a midi track and since we've got a drum beat going figure let's write in like a an additional new line or something so i'm going to come in here i'm going to click and go to insert soft synth and let's just pick one in here that's a good one. Let's go for, I don't know, Hive sounds like a good one. Maybe we'll get a sequence going. So let's choose Hive. All right, so I chose this preset mod drum. Sounds pretty cool. Now I'm going to click and drag at a region, and I'm going to go into Clip Properties to open up the piano roll. And I'm really quick going to just write in a melody. All right, so I've taken the synth and written in a small line here, and I've also boosted the drums a bit. And let's go ahead and just listen to this. <laughs> And I've already got a lot of extra ideas now, things I could go with reverb, definitely could do some more mixing and more of an intro kind of a thing. But we'd begin to add in pieces and really build something that's pretty unique because uh, I find that the stem maker is just great at producing these sort of unusual atmospheres that can often be extremely useful in a variety of situations. If you have any questions about this, let me know, subscribe and hit that bell icon for future videos and have a blessed day.